Hi guys, welcome to my channel. I am Ada. So today's video, I'm going to share with you, I'm going to give you some tips on how to beat boredom during the pandemic. I know a lot of us are bored, okay, because we're social beings, you know, we're used to going out, hanging out with friends and just doing the normal things that we usually do to keep busy and, um, you know, which involves a lot of socializing and interacting with our fellow human beings. But we have not been able to do that lately. So uh, there's been a lot of complaints of being bored and, you know, rightfully so. So I am going to share some tips of what you can do not to be so bored, okay, to keep busy. So, um, yeah, let me turn down the volume of my TV. It's a little loud. It's disrupting what I'm doing here. Okay, so, yeah, so, ooh, like I said, um, I have a few tips, okay? I'm going to save the best for last. So you have to watch the entire video to get the best of it, all right? And I also have a message for you YouTubers, okay? I got something to tell y'all. And that's going to be at the end as well. So let's get started with this video. So my number one tip of what to do to not be so bored is to take a walk. I take a walk when I'm bored. That's one of the things that I do. I, I just take a walk, a walk in my neighborhood. Uh, the entire neighborhood takes me about 30 to 45 minutes. When I come back, I usually do a little bit of strengthening exercises, you know, you know, just to strengthen my arms. I'm going to do some, you know, like something like this to strengthen my arms or push-ups. And once I do that, then I sit down and relax and I watch my recorded shows. I have a few shows that I enjoy watching. So I would just sit down and enjoy my shows do that and if you don't have a favorite show there are so many things that you can watch on tv okay so that's one thing that you can do and then sometimes um when i'm bored i exercise i have exercise videos that i use sometimes to exercise so if i'm bored i'm looking for something to do i just pop one of those videos and just follow along and do the exercise routine that they're doing so that's something you can do. Another tip is to cook a meal. Okay, when I'm bored sometimes, I just cook a meal. You know, I have a family of six, so we nice to always have something in the fridge that somebody can warm up and eat. So when I'm looking for something to do, I'm bored. It's one of the things that usually uh, occupy my time. Another, another tip is a lot of times when I'm bored, I, I, I go and try on my clothes. Who's guilty of that? Yeah, so a lot of us ladies have a lot of clothes. Okay. So when I'm bored, I, you know, tend to go and um, no. start finding my clothes, you know, especially since this pandemic, you know, we have not been going out much. So there is a lot of clothes in my closet that are just sitting there doing absolutely nothing. So, and I wonder sometimes how they still look on me. Will they still look good? So I would just go and start trying them on, you know, see which ones still fit. Because some of us have gained some weight, some of us have lost weight. So you want to see which of, of those clothes still fit you and which ones you need to get rid of. And that's a, a chance to also sort out your closet, organize your closet, and clean it out and um, rid of some things. Usually when we're in, in and out of the house, we don't organize our, our clothes all the time it's not always organized so that's a chance also to organize your closet clean it up and put things back in their place when you're bored so that's one of the things that i usually do too when i'm bored i go in my closet and i just start you know putting things together another thing you can do is to clean your room or clean your house if you are living with your parents you can clean your room you can clean your bathroom there's always something to clean in the house. That one is guaranteed because a lot of us, when we go in and out of the house, we don't always put things back exactly where they belong. So when you're bored, that's a good time to start putting those things, you know, and putting them where they belong. So that's one thing you can do. Um, another thing that I do is catch up 
or another thing that you can do. I'm very guilty of not doing that, but is to reach out to your friends, call your friends and see how they're doing because you would be surprised. A lot of people are not doing well in this pandemic, okay? Um, I'm guilty of not, you know, keeping in touch. I know this pandemic is supposed to be uh, social distancing, but a lot of us have kind of misinterpreted that to mean social isolation. So you just kind of withdraw from your friends and just keep to yourself, you know, and that's not what it's supposed to be about. It's supposed to be social distancing, but you still should maintain your friendship by reaching out to your friends, calling them to check on them and, uh, you know, stuff like that. So if you haven't been doing that or if you're, you know, guilty of not doing that and you're bored, pick up the phone and call your friends and see how they're doing. You would be surprised. You know, people are dying. You know, people are losing relatives in this pandemic uh, due to either COVID or other illnesses. You know, we have some friends that are, you know, um, that are having other issues besides uh, COVID. And we have a lot of friends that contracted COVID, you know, but you won't know unless you call them to see how they're doing. So yeah, that's something you can do if you're bored, is to reach out to your friends. Another thing, okay, so we're getting to the last two, the last two that we're saving for last, okay, the best. All right, so I'm going to have you guys guess on what it might be. All right, so who wants to take a guess? I am curious. Okay, so what is it that you can do? And this these two things that you can do, okay? If you don't do any of the previous things that I mentioned and you just do these two or one of these two, all right? You are never going to complain of boredom, I promise you, okay? These two things, if you do them, you'll never complain that you're bored. And uh, one of them is starting your own business, okay? If you start your own business, I tell you, my girls and I just started our own business middle of the pandemic, right? In the summertime of 2020, we started Oli Cosmetics, which is a makeup line. And it was born out of boredom. So when I tell you that this is one thing that if you start it, you will never be bored. I'm not, I'm not, I'm telling you the truth. It's a fact because once we started looking into starting a business, since then, we have not been bored, okay? We have had sometimes too much to do. From researching about the business to, you know, registering the business to figuring out uh, your suppliers for your merchandise to, uh, you know, uh, taking product pictures and uploading them, building your website, and then you know, um, contacting or connecting with social media platforms advertise and all that and to advertising and to actually making sales and then packaging and shipping the order i mean it, it's, it's endless you can never stop thinking about your business and even as you're sleeping you're still working you're still thinking about your business so you, you're not ever going to be bored if you're not physically doing something you are mentally doing something about your business so you're never going to be bored as long as you have a business all right so that is one thing that if you do you are not gonna ever say I'm bored no you ain't gonna be bored I promise you all right so our business Oli Cosmetics we spent the entire summer you know, figuring it out and getting it started and eventually we launched it if you didn't get a chance to watch my very first YouTube video that's what it was about. I explained everything, the whole process that we went through starting our new business. All right, so yes, it is Oli Cosmetics. Thank you, yes. And okay, so the last thing that brings me to the very last thing that you, if you do it, you will never say, I'm bored. You know how kids always say, I'm bored. I am so bored. Okay, you would never utter that from your mouth if you, do this last thing forget about the other things I said to do if you do these one of these two last ones you will never complain of boredom 
who can guess what the last one is? Okay, so it is exactly what I'm doing right now. What am I doing right now? Hmm? What am I doing right now that is keeping me busy? Starting a YouTube channel. Guys, <laughs> duh. <laughs> if you guys have not noticed, huh, there is so much on YouTube. There is, I mean, like, YouTube. I'll tell you guys what I used to think of YouTubers. When I first heard of YouTube some years ago, I thought it was a stupid idea. I was like, how can somebody just sit around and video themselves and then put it for the whole world to see? Like, how? Who does that? I just didn't think it was smart. I didn't think it was necessary. I didn't think it was, uh, you know, something that somebody should be doing if they knew any better, for lack of a better word. <laughs> so, yeah. So, you know, but what do I think now? I think they're awesome. I think YouTubers are amazing. I think YouTubers are very smart. I think they are brave. I think they're wise. I think, you know, I just, just name it. I think YouTubing is cool. Like, I, who would have thought? I mean, the first YouTubers, like the, the first things I used to see on YouTube, I thought they were very silly. Like people would just do these stupid things and then they would film themselves and put, or do something embarrassing and put it on YouTube for everybody to see. I thought that was pretty silly. But now, honey, guess who goes viral? When people put silly things, they go viral, right? So what does that tell you? It tells you that anybody can be a YouTuber. You can be a YouTuber, you can be a YouTuber, you can be a YouTuber, and y'all can all be YouTubers. I never thought of myself as, you know, like, why would I do YouTubing until I started my business, one, and then I listened to YouTube because to, to start my business, I had to watch some YouTube and Google and stuff to find information. That is when I realized that, my gosh, the power of YouTube, like there is nothing that you cannot find on YouTube, any type of information you want. Just YouTube it or Google it and you will find it. You know, so that's where the future is headed. I think YouTube is trying to take over television, to tell you the truth. You know, and it looks like they're succeeding because a lot of people are watching YouTube. I mean, you will see people's um, channels and they have like a million something followers, 500,000 followers, like... I mean, subscribers, I'm sorry, not followers. Followers is, is uh, Instagram, right? So, yeah, they will have all these subscribers and, and watch people viewing their stuff. Like, a lot of people are on YouTube. And, um, you know, soon enough, YouTube might take over television. So, get in now while you can. There are a lot of YouTubers on how you should start your YouTube channel now, okay? Don't stop procrastinating. Don't wait till tomorrow. Start it now. Like, personally, I wish I started mine a few years ago. Now that I know what, because, honey, knowledge is freaking power, okay? Knowledge is power. If I knew what I know now, a few years ago, I would have been a YouTuber. And I'd have been on my way to hundreds of thousands of um, subscribers. Okay, but it's never too late to start. I started now and here I am and I am loving it. So if you start a YouTube channel, you will never complain that you're gonna you're, that you're bored because it takes a lot of time, first of all. It seems like it's a meaningless job, but it really is time consuming because you can spend a lot of time videoing yourself. First of all, you gotta think of what with video ideas and then you gotta video yourself doing whatever it is. Like what I'm doing right now. I mean, if you think I decided to sit down, let me just rant. No, I have to think about it. I have to think about what I'm going to talk about. Okay? And you have to construct it so that it makes sense. Right? So, so start your YouTube channel. 
this is the time to do it because everybody has a phone, a cell phone. Okay, when I call people in the village, they answer their phone and they're in the farm. That is how popular cell phones are. Every single person in the world just about has a cell phone, all right, or have access to it. So you can start a YouTube, you can start your YouTube channel anytime, okay? So start your channel. I started mine. Do like personally for me, I started YouTube to promote my business, to help promote my business, okay? I want to give it more exposure. And I'm thinking that YouTube will help us do that. Right? So that's why I started it. But people have different reasons for starting YouTube. Some people, um, and, and if you guys didn't know, you can make money being a YouTuber too. So some people, that's their goal, is to make money as a YouTuber. Right? So, you know, that's not my goal. At least that wasn't my intention when I started it. I mean, eventually, if it comes, you know, when we reach that bridge, we will cross it. But as far as how, why I started YouTubing, the reason is to promote my business, to give my business more exposure. All right? So start your channel and start it now. All you got to do is just go on Google, create an account, a, a, a Google account, then go to YouTube.com, sign up, you know, come up with a YouTube name, sign up for it, and then grab your phone, film yourself doing something, anything. You can do a video on any of these things that I talked about. Ten things to do when you're bored. You can do it on um, how you uh, exercise. You can do it on how you cook. You can do it on organizing your closet. You can do it on um, starting a business or starting a YouTube channel. Like, you can literally do a YouTube video on anything at all. Because, guys, look, what's the number one search engine? What is the number one search engine? Uh, yeah, Google, right? Google is the number one search engine. So, who owns YouTube? All right, who do you guys think owns YouTube? It's Google, guys. It is Google. Whenever you Google anything, right, most things, YouTube will pop up and there will be videos on that topic for you to choose and actually see people talking about that uh, topic that you are searching for. So that is why you need to start YouTubing because the number one search engine is Google and YouTube, okay? Google owns YouTube. So everything that you do on YouTube is on Google. You just Google it and you can find people doing, talk, like you Google the topic that I'm talking about right now. My video might pop up. There might maybe several other videos like mine, but since I'm new, mine may not pop up, but there will be uh, videos that will pop up that you can choose from. All right? So start your YouTube channel. Like I said, everyone has a cell phone. Okay? So if you start a YouTube channel, I'm, I'm telling you, YouTube is trying to take over television. All right? Everyone has a cell phone. All you need to watch YouTube is your cell phone. Like, TV, you don't really watch on your cell phone. You watch it at home. People are kind of going away from that, especially the young people, okay? All you need is, and, and, and especially in some countries, they don't even have television. People, not everybody has television. I know here in the United States, most of us have a television. But, like, even my kids don't even watch TV anymore. Like, not that much anymore. They watch whatever they want to watch on their phone on YouTube or on their computer, but mostly on their phone because with your phone, you can watch it anywhere. Like I said, you can be in the farm and be watching YouTube. You can be in your car and be watching YouTube. You can't do any of those things. I mean, you can't watch television in, in, those, in, in those locations at any time you would like. That is why I say YouTube is taking over and you need to get a piece of the pie. Hello. Okay. So I am glad that I became educated about YouTube and I have joined the bandwagon. Okay. I know some people might say, well, I don't want to join no bandwagon. 
you need to join the bandwagon. Like, you're going to miss the boat if you don't, okay? Because that's just where the future is headed. You can't stop it. You know, it has come a long way already, and it's there's no stopping it. It's going to keep going. And if you don't join, you're going to be left behind. You don't want that. Okay, so that is the point I'm trying to make, is that if you start a YouTube channel, you're never going to be bored because it's going to keep you so busy. Okay. It takes a lot of, there's a lot of thought into making a video. There is a lot of, you're constantly thinking about what's my next video idea. Like, what am I going to make up my next video on? Right. It's a job. It is like, I know many of us probably look down on it as, oh, that's not a job. It's just a hobby. Well, it could be a hobby that turns into a job. Like right now, you know, it's not a job for me, but it's it may uh, lead to that. And for a lot of people, they started it as a hobby, and now it has led to a job. Some people are doing this full time and actually making money from it. Some people are doing it just for fun. But why do it just for fun if you can make money from it? Right? So you might start off making, you know, making videos for fun, but then when you become educated, you know, about it, because YouTube, there's a lot of education in YouTube, you know, every education does not have to be a formal education. There are a lot of people on YouTube that have plenty of formal education, but they're still YouTubers and they're still making their money on YouTube. YouTube is one of their streams of income, right? So, you know, it, 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 you, you, I used to have the mindset that, oh, YouTube is just for people that don't want to go to school. They don't want to do anything with their life. So they're just going to make videos and put it on. That's not true. There are a lot of people that are educated that are on YouTube. They have all kinds of degrees, but they are YouTubers still. And maybe they're doing it for fun. <coughs> maybe they're using it to make extra income. It's okay. Some people are doing it full time and using it to make a living. I, you know, I, I, I don't know how possible that is, but some people are saying that that's what's happening with them. And, um, you know, if that's your goal, then you can work on it and achieve it. But like I said, my goal is to promote my business with YouTube. And eventually, if it leads me to the point where I'm making some cash with it, wonderful. Okay. I can always use some extra cash. So we can all always use some extra cash. So if it offers you the opportunity to make money, honey, go for it. Okay, so that's it. I'm done ranting. <laughs> so that is it for now. I will, If you like what you just saw, like and subscribe to my channel. Yes, and I'll catch you next time.